Talking grain markets right now with our crop marketing specialist, Dr. Kim Anderson. So Kim, let's jump right in. What's going on? Well, you can look at the factors that's impacting prices right now. Probably the biggest is Ukraine and Russia and the, the war that's going on over there. Uh, then there's weather. You go in central to western U.S., too dry. You go back to the east, it's too wet, delayed planting. Uh, planting. You got the USDA reports that came out last week that's been digested. Price volatility and, of course, your higher input cost. You know, for the past few weeks, weekly, you've been given uh, updates, just what's happening in the world with the crop market. It's, let's, let's go back to January and talk about how those factors have changed. Well, if you look at uh, wheat right now, you can forward contract wheat in nor north central Oklahoma, the panhandle for $10.10, just above $10. Southern Oklahoma around nine seventy. You go back to January 1, we were at $7.50 for harvested uh, 2022 wheat. Uh, it came on out pretty much flat. Uh, and when we got into to late February, when the conflict started in Ukraine and Russia, uh, $8, it moved up to 11.50 for a forward contract. And then it came back down, it wallered, oh, between nine and 10, 10 and a quarter, something like that. And of course, right now we're right above $10 for forward contracts. And so what you've got is those factors and the strong demand for wheat prices and it's increased the risk. Now that's shown with the basis. You go back before the conflict started, that basis was a minus 28 cents. After the conflict, it went down to a minus 87 cents. It's down now to about a minus 58. That difference in 28 and 58 is how much risk the, the merchandisers are putting on this market price. So what about corn and sorghum? Well, you look at corn, uh, you can forward contract uh, north central Oklahoma, 680 right now, panhandle around 745, southern Oklahoma, $7.10. But you go back to January 1, you were at $5.20. But corn has just made a slow and kind of a little faster increases in prices for the last two months. A lot of that was relatively tight stocks, relatively good de demand, and then late February, the war. 18% of exported corns coming out of Ukraine. So naturally we had another increase in price. Also, as you look at this graph, look at the volatility, the increased variability in prices after we got past February the 20th. Uh, $6.80 for corn right now, that's relatively good. Of course, uh, part of that is you look at corn planted acres, 89.5 million, 93.4 last year. And that's the high input cost coming in there impacted that. A lot, of happen lot happening in that market. So we can't forget about soybeans. So how's soybean kind of reacting along with corn and sorghum? Well, soybeans, you don't have to put as much nitrogen fertilizer, if any, on the beans. So you, you had increased planted acres for soybeans. 91 million this year compared to 87.2 last year. You go back to January, soybean prices were you know $11 or so. When the war started, they had increased to 14. That's because we had a smaller Brazilian crop than we'd anticipated, and we got that run up in prices. Since late February, the soybean prices really moved sideways to slightly lower. Right now, we're at 1380, uh, within 20 cents of where we were in late February. So, what about cotton? The last time we spoke, cotton really hadn't done much. So, what's going on with cotton? Well, cotton, we had a high price because the increased demand in relatively tight stocks. Demand for cotton has depleted the cotton supply. Uh, planted acres for cotton this year are up 9% at 12.2 million acres. Go back to January, 94 cent cotton. This is the, the forward contract or the hedge price for coming out for the, for the fall 22 cotton crop. Uh, by the time you got into early February, you was at 100. It wallered around to 100 and 105. Oh, the last couple of weeks, it's, it's went up to about $113. This is demand-driven cotton prices and reduced stocks. All righty, thanks, Kim. Dr. Kim Anderson, grain marketing specialist here at Oklahoma State University.